Turning now to the latest on North Korea, Pyongyang has reportedly transported two additional missile launch vehicles to the EC, an indicator that threats may continue to loom. The South Korean Defense Ministry, however, denies those claims. Our Han Da-eun reports. Threats of a missile launch from North Korea are not yet over, as fresh signs have emerged that Pyongyang may still be pursuing a provocation. Seoul-based Yonhap News Agency reported, citing multiple government sources, that the North has moved two transporter erector launchers to the East Sea, in addition to several other missile launch vehicles that had been placed on the East Coast earlier this month. Yonhap added that recent satellite images indicate that two additional missile launchers, likely for short-range Scud missiles, have been deployed in the South Hamgyong province. The sources told Yonhap that Pyongyang appears to have made the decision after engaging Washington's stance towards it following U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry's visit to Seoul. Although showing interest in a diplomatic solution, Kerry had made clear that North Korea should first abandon its nuclear program and end its threats if it wants to reopen dialogue. The South Korean Defense Ministry, however, has denied reports on the recent missile-related activities. Military officials said that no additional movements of missile launchers have been detected and added that the seven launch vehicles previously placed near the East Sea are at a standstill. While North Korea continues to put the world on edge over its missiles, the UN Security Council has released a statement condemning North Korea and Iran's nuclear programs. The Council's five permanent members met on Friday local time and reconfirmed that the two rogue states are a serious threat to global nuclear security. The meeting precedes two weeks of global nuclear talks in Geneva that will discuss a broad review of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. Han Dan, Arirang News.